war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Nice haircut. What do you think, hon? Beard or no beard? Oh, that's the face I fell in love with. Looking good, if I do say so myself. Such a cute nose. What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Another fine product of General Atomics International. Abraxo for all your cleaning needs.
good old USA. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. No need to get dressed twice. War never changes. <laughs> Got that right. <laughs> to think, one day he's gonna learn how to drive. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Ruled to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Hey, Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, sir. <laughs> How can someone so small drink so much? Oh, sounds like someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Sean. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. So proud of her. On the island of Mamba Jow, the nights are cold, unseasonably so for Southeast Asia. But for the fifth infantry, that's as comfortable as an autumn jamboree. All the easier for our mechanized Hellcats to drive any squeaky consoles. Sugar bombs, 100% daily value of sugar. It comes to you every day. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. This afternoon, right here in the city, Boston's swatting sultans will swing for the fences. Led by star pitcher Matt the Missile Murtaugh, Boston hopes to defeat Texas and deliver their first World Series victory since... Come on, just answer the door and he'll go away. Good morning! vault -Tec calling! vault -Tec? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm here now. So you are. So you are. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see.
Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. How's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my god. We... we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Shh. Shh. It's okay. Take the bag. Who can? Just help me pack it up. It's absurd! I am Not on the list. Tech. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop sure. me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting this! If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home! We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. You two, follow me! Come on! What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the gate? We're doing everything we can! Now keep moving! Step on the platform! In the center! Alright, that's it! Send it down! Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too.